Hi, this is Simon Chan. Welcome to my No BS, No Hype Network Marketing Training. The members of my mastermind groups can ask me questions on a weekly basis. And today's question comes from a distributor out in China who is actually there for, a, for I wouldn't say short time, but uh, kind of considerable lengths of time. And is asking about how to grow into the market. And uh, she's originally not from there. She plans to go back home. And the question is, how often does she need to come back? So, Question says, based on your experience, Malaysia experience, I do know I have to consider coming back to China and staying a little longer to really build a team here, especially if worst case scenario timing isn't right for my current prospects. It's been on the back of my mind to come back here towards the end of next year, end of next year, which is about 13, 14 months from now, um, as I do enjoy it here. However, I only plan to do so after I hit my goal of being a goal director, which is earning over $85,000, $86,000 a year, and have at least one downline in Australia that's also earning uh, a goal director income, $86,000 a year. Can you shed some light on this matter based on your previous experience? Yeah, so I'm uh, definitely check out my future product coming out, Expanding Your MLM Dream into New Markets, that teaches you exactly how, what to do if you want to expand to new countries. And also, not just new countries, but also any cities that are outside your local area. Okay, it's like something you have to travel outside, I would say, a 50 kilometer, 50 miles or anything like 80 kilometer uh, area outside. So with new markets, you have to have the mindset there's a long term commitment. And one of the important things is when you bring in. So the answer, the, the answer to, um, to her question is she has to come back a lot quicker. Okay, It can't be for 13 months. Um, if she brings in anyone now within 13 months, those um, distributors could basically be gone and dead. Okay. And you really have to see it as when you bring them into the business, they're like babies. They don't know much. They don't, um, it's things that we take for granted, just log into the website to check your volumes, to order your monthly products, to make a purchase, to do enrollments. They don't know that. And when they're babies, just imagine if you left the baby alone for one, you know, two days or just one day, what, ha- what happened to the baby? Baby probably die, right? It's the same thing with your MLM babies. The babies. So, the most important time, if you think of a child is born, is when the when is a baby, and the mother spends the most amount of time there. And it's the same thing in this business. You have to continue be there. Waiting 13 months. I mean, you could do online trainings, which are, you know, which I I like, um, but this at the end is a face to face relationship. Right, um, a lot of things are frustrating. For example, if a distributor doesn't know how to enroll someone as a question by the enrollment process, they could normally just send a text message to you and you can reply right right away. But if you're out of the country, they may not be able to do that, or maybe the wrong time zone, right? And those are small things that get frustrated. And when every time there's any frustration or confusion, what do people do? They just stop working. Right? Think about it. Every time you were confused or frustrated, do you continue to do what you were doing? No, you just normally just stop. You don't do anything. So that's why it's very important that you have to be there during the baby stages. And even think about it, when a baby grows up um, and the kids are like five, seven years old, do the parents just leave? You know, I mean, the kids that grew up with, without parents, they don't grow up strong, right? They normally, they, you know, kids that are raised by grandparents are generally never as good as kids that are raised by two parents. Um, because kids need that attention. It's the same thing with your distributors. You, you know, even you get them through the baby stage, it's important to go back. So I know you have to go back home. This, this, you know, she has to go back home. Uh, but what she can do is making every quarterly trips out there. And it doesn't necessarily need to be four months at a time. Okay, important. It could be two, three week trips. Uh, and, and, I mean, Australia to China does take some time. So I wouldn't make it like a two day trip, but like a two, three week trip to grow and support the team. Okay. Uh, you don't need to be there for two or three months. Actually, um, but that stage is actually not even that good because people, if you stay there too long, people take you for granted. Okay. Um, and which is probably, you know, what, she, what she's experiencing a little bit right now because she can't close her prospects because she's spending too much time there. But, uh, but you did, to answer your question, you, she has to go back there more frequently. Cannot wait for 13 months to go back there. Um, and to be a gold director to get there, there um, going there and building a new market, China market, which is so exciting, will help her get that gold director much faster. So if that's something, if anything motivates you to go back, that should be it. All right. So 
Um, coming up with a new product, expanding the M your MLM dream to new markets, keep an eye out for it. You definitely hear about it, but that will go over everything from the to dos, how to you know how to do marketing, how to do strategies, how to do advertising, how to run your meetings uh, when you expand to more new markets. So keep an eye out for that, and I'll share more about what I just talked about. All right, this is Simon Chan. Thank you for watching my training, and remember, win the profession to help others. So make sure you go out there and have a positive impact on someone's life today. God bless you all.